Okay, we're going to do Niagara File, another cookbook recipe. Um, and again, here's the website if you want to look at um, any of uh, the latest and greatest NiFi stuff I put up there. And again, if you have any questions or any issues with uh, NiFi that, you know, I'd love to try and help you out, just um, send me this uh, uh, email address uh, on the bottom here. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the next recipe. Okay, this will be recipe number eight. And this one's this this recipe is a little different than what we've been doing in the past. Um, rest before I showed you some some intricacies of NiFi that exist. This is something a little different, where you actually um, it's nothing really documented. It's just a little fun thing that you might want to do, um, and maybe uh, just customize uh, your own NiFi instance. Um, uh, so the problem is. Uh, you want to replace the uh, NiFi logo located on the uh, the NiFi uni your NiFi web page uh, with your own. Uh, so if you look at uh, when you bring up NiFi on the left there, you see this little icon looks like a teardrop or a water drop. It says NiFi on it, and you might want to replace that with maybe your own company logo or your own specific logo. And so in this case, uh, in this case, I have a picture of the desert, I guess. So um, how do you do that? Well, you can go in and edit uh, one of the NiFi library NAR files. And it's a two-step process. What you do is you replace the, um, you uh, insert the uh, your custom graphic into one of the NAR files, and then you edit one of the configuration files within the NAR file. It's a CSS file actually uh, that defines the uh, name of the logo file. How that works is um, if you go to the NiFi lib directory. In this case, I have a directory called Cookbook that I put everything in. I'm running version 0 0.4.1. So if you go in the lib directory. And underneath that, um, you go ahead and edit the uh, NiFi framework uh, NAR file. And I use 7-zip to edit um, all these NAR files. It's, uh, I, I think I recommend it. It's really good. You can edit things on the fly and then save them for you. And you don't have to worry about unzipping things manually and everything else. But I would use 7-zip. Uh, uh, Anyways, you go to this NiFi framework NAR file. And then inside there is a directory, a meta inf directory. And inside there is another directory called bundle dependencies. And inside there is a bunch of other WAR files. And the WAR file you want to edit is the NiFi web UI WAR file. And inside there you'll find uh, two directories. One of them is going to be the images directory. And another one is going to be a CSS directory for all the cascading style sheets. And what you want to do is um, edit the um, NF canvas all CSS GZ file. And that's where you're going to define your new um, location of your um, new uh, image. So basically what you do is you take your image that you have, it's a PNG file, and you drop it into this images directory. Just drag it over and drop, if you're using the 7-zip, just drag it over and drop it into the images directory. Um, and then the next thing you do is you edit this NF canvases all CSS.gz file, and you replace the logo, uh, the current logo, which is like, bg nifi logo png uh, with your own name and uh, let me go ahead and show you how that's done all right so the first thing I'm going to do is start up nifi so let's go ahead and run nifi and we'll bring it up and we're going to look at this, the standard logo that nifi gives us and you see how we can change that. So let's see, bring up NiFi. So wait a second here. Okay, now in the upper left you see the NiFi logo. That's what it is there. That's what we're going to replace. So let's go ahead and save that image so we can see what it, what the some of the specifications are of it. So we're going to do ahead, go ahead and save this. See the name is called BG NiFi Logo.png. So it's a PNG file. So we know that already. Let's go ahead and save it. And let's go ahead and sh shut down NiFi. And we're going to go ahead and look at the logo. So you can see the logo here. Um, you can see, um, let's look at some of the properties associated with it. Um, just to get an idea. So you can see the pixel size there, 61 by 90. But let's go uh, to properties and look at the uh, details on it just to see what we're going to need to set our new logo at. So we've got to match, we've got to kind of match the, uh, the size here. So if we go to details, you can see the dimensions. It's 61 by 90. So our replacement logo is going to have to be 61 by 90, and it's going to have to be a PNG file. It doesn't have to be a PNG file, but I, I would go ahead and use a PNG file. Okay, so our new logo we're going to make is going to be a 61 by 90, and it's going to be a PNG file. So 
Let's go ahead and stop NiFi. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and use a standard image that comes with uh, Windows. So I'll use this desert image. Let's copy it over to my little working area here. Then I'm going to use PC Paint to edit it. And then we're going to go ahead and reformat it to match the uh, specifications that NiFi expects for the size. So we're going to use a 61 by 90. So we'll make this 61. We'll make this 90. Go ahead and save it. So that is going to be our new image we're going to use to replace the current one. We're going to save it as a PNG file. Uh, let's call it mic.png. And there's the image we're going to use to replace the current one. Mic.png is going to replace BG NiFi logo.png. So let's go ahead and do that. So we need to go into the lib directory where all my NiFi stuff is. So let's go into my lib directory. And we're going to have to edit. Uh, so here's where all the NAR files are that NiFi uses to, you know, for to, to make it run, basically. So um, all the definitions and everything is defined here. You know, all the, the, the images and all that other stuff, the configuration files are, are stored in these NAR files. And we're going to have to edit one of these NAR files to, to tell it what image we want to use. And we're actually going to put our image into one of these NAR files. So the way I want to do is uh, framework.nar. Look in the meta inf directory, and inside that is a bundled dependencies directory that has a whole bunch of jar files and war files. And the one specifically we want to look at is the NiFi uh, web uh, UI war file. And inside there is an images directory, and that's where we're going to put our new image. Here's all the NiFi images. Here's our BG NiFi logo image. That's where it's stored. That's where it's grabbed from. from. And we're going to drop our new image in here. So my mic image is going to be now part of the baseline that my NiFi instance is going to be running. So I'll have access to that mic.png file. Okay, so we got our PNG file saved here. Now we have to tell NiFi we want to use it. So we go in the CSS directory, and we want to unzip the uh, nf canvas all.css.gz. So we'll double click that. We'll edit this file here, the CSS file. And let's look for bg NiFi info. And we're going to replace it with our own uh, name for our new image. And let's see. So there it is there. So we're just going to replace this with Mike. It looks in the images directory. And we're just going to replace it with Mike.png. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that. Yes, we want to update the archive. That's the nice thing about 7-zip. It'll automatically update all these archives for you, the GZ and JAR files and WAR files. So let's just keep on going up to update everything. And let's go all the way up to our lib directory. And we should be able to see, if we look in the lib directory, that we did modify one file. So let's try this again. All right. Look in the lib directory. And we can check to see the latest file we, we changed, which was 545. Okay. And I want to delete the work directory just in case there's any other remnants there. I just want to start with a new, fresh version of NiFi running. So let's go ahead and start NiFi. The work directory is kind of created when you run NiFi. It keeps like a scratch pad there of everything. All right, so let's run NiFi, and we'll go ahead and reload it. And we should see our image there in the left corner. And there it is. You look in the left, there's our new image. We replaced the standard NiFi logo with our own. Again, something fun if you want to do and try, it's up to you, but uh, just something to show you that's out there.